Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone. This is Keith once again and more graphics card manufacturers have announced their custom Radeon RX Vega lineups and the new custom cards feature custom PCBs, cooling solutions, and will deliver better performance than the reference variant. While XFX was the first manufacturer to officially announce their custom Vega lineup, others have followed them. Today, Gigabyte, PowerColor, and ASUS have also officially announced their custom Radeon RX Vega lineups. The PowerColor will be offering the Radeon RX Vega in the Red Devil variant. Gigabyte will be offering the OC WinForce 2X series, while ASUS will stick to their ROG Strix variants. Take a quick look at the cards and and the information on them. Power Color Radeon RX Vega 6456 Red Devil lineup. The Red Devil graphics card come in both Vega 64 and Vega 56 flavors. These cards feature a total of 4096 and 3584 stream processors respectively. The Radeon RX Vega 64 Red Devil is clocked at 1417 MHz base with a 1607 MHz boost. The speeds are definitely faster than the reference air-cooled models but slightly below that of the liquid edition and can boost up to 1677. GPU clocks for the Vega 56 are not mentioned at the moment. Aside from clocks, we're looking at 8GB of HBM2 memory, clocking in at 1.9 gigabits per second along a 2048-bit interface, while Vega 56 features a 1.6 gigabits per second memory clock. In terms of design, the card boasts a massive triple slot shroud that features red and black color schemes. The card also has the Devil logo on the side of the shroud, which I believe should illuminate with LED lighting. The whole cooler assembly is pretty huge and features a large aluminum heat fan sink array that comes with two 8mm and four 6mm heat pipes for better heat dissipation system. The car also comes with a nice Red Devil backplate. ASUS has also announced their Radeon RX Vega ROG Strix OC lineup, which this time much more officially than before. We know that ASUS Vega lineup was last announced when Vega hit the market, but since then, the cards have not really hit the retail market. There have been several reviews of the card, but no one can buy them from anywhere, so it's really just a paper launch, and we still do not know when these cards will hit the market. Now, ASUS has the product pages for these cards for quite some time. The card has arrived in the Italy market for an official price of £740 for the RX Vega 64 Strix OC. The lineup will include two cards, the 64 OC and the Vega 56 OC. The clock speeds have not been listed by ASUS at the moment. The main difference on the custom boards compared to the reference card is a non-reference PCB design, the ASUS Direct CU3 cooler, and a modified power delivery system, as well as a slightly different yet similar display port connector configuration. Both cards are supplied through power through a dual 8-pin connectors. And lastly, Gigabyte has officially announced the Radeon RX Vega 6456 Gaming OC lineup. These cards will feature their new and enhanced WinForce 2X cooling system with a custom PCB to deliver the best performance and cooling. Featuring the Radeon RX Vega 64 graphics core, the car comes again with 4096 stream processors that operate in two modes. The reference mode clocks the card at 1247 base with a 1546 boost, while the boost profile clocks the card to 1276 base and 1560 boost. Not a whole lot of change there. The card sticks with 8GB of HBM2 VRAM clocked at 1.9GB along with the 2048-bit interface. In terms of design, we're looking at an enhanced compact version of the WinForce 2X cooler that comes with dual 100mm fans with angular fin design and a semi-passive 3D active fan technology. The card is fitted with large aluminum fin heatsink and uses 5 pure copper heat pipes that make direct contact with the GPU. To further alleviate cooling to further elevate the cooling performance, there's also an additional copper backplate coming with the heat pipe on the back to make sure that the GPU and electrical components stay cool from either side of the PCB. So that's what we've got so far. If you want more information on all these as far as technical specifications, hit the link in the description below. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.